quickly, James, former PM John Howard has criticised the UN um, and their call for Australia to phase out coal production. Uh, Mr Howard has rebuked the United Nations' cynical lectures about one of Australia's most valuable exports. It's always good to hear from the former Prime Minister. It is great to us uh, to hear from the former prime minister and uh, we've spoken with Mr. Howard this week uh, as the anniversary of 9-11 came up, but he's very passionate about this issue about the United Nations coming out here and telling us that one of our major export industries, which, by the way, also helps nations like India, Indonesia, China, all sorts of countries around the world, um, industrialized, lift themselves out of poverty, um, is being attacked. And, of course, they don't go after China, the world's biggest emitter, even though they, in 19 days, emit as much CO2 as we in Australia do in an entire year. Well, absolutely. And, and you know what? Sometimes you need a John Howard just to state facts in a common sense way and uh, <laughs> and get all of us to, to appreciate it. Because, uh, Caro, the Liberals seem to be changing tact on this issue. Um, and uh, the, the, the small L Liberals seem to be winning the day. Oh, look, it's, they, they seem to be pretty divided in the party in terms of how they view climate policy. And it's not just at a federal level, it's at a New South Wales level too. There's a divide between the conservative faction, the right faction in the party, and the more moderates and, uh, I guess, soft left of the party. But, uh, yeah, bring back John Howard. The bedwetters, as Peter sense. Credlin calls yeah, them. Yeah, the bedwetters, exactly. I mean, James is right. Uh, I will agree with him on this point. Um, you know, we as a country emit only 1.3% of the world's global emissions, and yet we have to self-flog, self-flagellate, you know, to, to meet these United Nations, uh, this foreign body's uh, idea of what we, we should be meeting when countries like China and India, which produce so many emissions, d don't have to to um, be brought up to speed in the same way. I mean, this is the same body, reader though, that has Saudi Arabia on its <laughs> Women's Rights Council. So that's all you need to know about the United Nations. Absolutely. And a perfect uh, point to end our discussion this evening. Caroline Marcus, James Morrow, thanks for your company tonight.